Well, how would you like to have a schedule like this? Wake up at 4.50 a.m., have up to seven religious services per day, some as short as 15 minutes, three meal times for a total of 90 minutes, work for six hours, one and a half hours of Bible study, go back to bed at 8.30, and wake up for a 15-minute service at midnight, then back to sleep again, and up at 4.50 in the morning. This is a monk's life. The psalmist indicates that he had at least a part of that type of schedule. If you are joining us in going through the six-month reading plan through the book of Psalms, today's reading is Psalm 119, verses 57 through 64, and I encourage you to read that psalm. Well, Psalm 119, verses 62 through 64 says, At midnight I shall rise and give thanks to you because of your righteous ordinances. I am a companion of all those who fear you and of those who keep your precepts. The earth is full of your loving kindness, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Well, we in the Christian community must begin and to become a community together. Right now, we go to church for a couple of hours a week, and then the rest of the time we spend being by ourselves. Some of the senior members may spend some more time at the church because they're not working, but they still don't spend a significant amount of time in fellowship together. Now, if the coronavirus has shown us anything, it's shown us that we need to be a people who congregate with one another. The most challenging part about being quarantined is you cannot be around other people. And we as human beings desire to be around others. That is part of our makeup, which comes from being made in God's image. The Trinity fellowships continually with one another. We feel compelled to fellowship with one another because each of us are made in the image of God and we cannot not do that and then still be fully human. When we come back together at church at the end of this virus quarantine, we should make sure that we do not allow ourselves to be placed in the same situation again. We should make plans to be able to be together and to make contingency plans that if something happens that we can't be together, then we should be able to immediately get together electronically. We can ask God to teach us his statutes without being in a relationship with him. And we cannot be in a relationship with him and not in a relationship with others of the same kind. Christianity is not a single person's sport. It's a community. It can't survive to be alone. Even those who have committed themselves to a monastery still spend time with one another, even if it's only at mealtime or services. Now, we can learn God's statutes by reading them, but we cannot ingest them. We cannot make them part of our own lives without others around us. Look at the Ten Commandments. The first four commandments assume a relationship with God, and the last six require a some kind of human connection. We are in a relationship-based people. Let's begin to think that way. And if you would like a PDF copy of this entire reading plan, please send an email to PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.